to the music world now. It's been quite a journey for 26-year-old Corrine Elliott, better known as rap artist Speech DeBell. She once felt forgotten by the rest of society. Now she's written some unforgettable music inspired by the life she once endured. ITN's Girish Duneja has her remarkable story. Speech to Bell is well qualified to sing about life on the streets. The Bell, real name Corinne Elliott, left home at 19. For four formative years, she slept in hostels for the homeless. When I was in hostels, I was writing. They were my private songs, they were my phone possession. Like I'd hear in a conversation, so I would say, do you see the world, do you see the world like this? Is the, hot, is the glass half empty or half full? And then I'd go home and think about it, and I'd literally ask myself the question and I'd answer it in, in the form of a song. So I'd say, I've got a half cup of hope and I'm sipping slow. Do you know what I mean? That was like me basically having a conversation with myself. How, and it, it, it's kind of why the album sounds the way it does, as though I'm in a therapy session. The album, Speech Therapy, was released this June, just two years after she had left her last hostel. Within weeks, DeBell had been nominated for the prestigious Mercury Music Prize. When I found out, honestly, I was like, yeah, I should be. Should be nominated. Speech to Belle for her remarkable album, Speech Therapy. The stories behind all of those songs, like, that is like, you don't really get a lot of opportunities, society doesn't get a lot of opportunities to see, to hear the, the, the stories that I'm telling. 2 a.m. in my hostel bed, my eyes turn red, my bully ain't fed. Belle grew up in a middle class family and loved poetry. But this album speaks of her experiences in the hostel system and of coming to terms with the world around her. When you're in a hostel, the easiest thing to do is drink. I saw more people, I saw more alcoholics in hostels than I saw anything else. I didn't know there were so many alcoholics. Although grateful for the support that she received, DeBell says the system penalises those who try to work their way out. When she tried to get a job, she was told she'd have to pay for all the services the hostel provided, including counselling, accommodation and advice. They said £210 a week. Uh, £210 a week is like... What's that? 80% of, of, of the earnings for the week, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So that, that's not going to happen. As for education, DeBell was told if she wanted to stay at the hostel, she wouldn't be allowed to study for more than 16 hours a week. She calculated it would take four years to finish a basic course. She says another door had closed. I'm not sure what's happened there in between the, 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 the thinking, the, 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 the government's thinking in terms of we're going to help you and then we're going to help you help yourself. There seems to be, uh, there's not, there doesn't seem to be the connection there. With the support of friends and family, DeBell finally did find a job and moved out, taking her lyrics with her. Regardless of whether she wins the Mercury or not, she'll keep telling her stories and people undoubtedly will keep listening. The Mercury Music Prize for Best Album of the Year will be announced in September. What a remarkable story.